Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some tricks to write the discussion section or discussion chapter following three major steps. So the discussion chapter comes after the results or sometimes it's mixed or integrated with the results depending on the different recommendations by universities or research journals. And sometimes it is rather divided into the link with the literature, like the summary of the main findings from the study and the review of the literature, like the main studies from the literature review. So these are the two steps that you need to do, like the first step to summarize the literature or the review of the literature, like you take just the main studies. So you just copy and paste them or spot them in a one file like this. And the next step is to summarize the main findings of the study organized by the research questions. So, so the third step is going to be about the merging of the results found in the study with the review of the literature or previous studies that show similar or different results. So these are the three steps. To repeat, first, we need to summarize the, the studies in the review of the literature. The second step, we need to summarize the main findings of the study organized by either the research questions, the research objectives, the research hypotheses, etc. And the last step is to combine the results obtained from the study with the uh, literature or the major studies that show similar or different results. Another trick to do is to go to the questionnaire or the study from which you uh, adopted the questionnaire and there you will find, for instance, uh, studies that are similar and that are cited there that either agree or disagree beforehand with with uh, your research this one for instance here and there are many other findings so you can just take this as a snowball sampling of the different studies so this is the the second or rather another trick that can be used to get uh, other uh, similar uh, studies Another trick is to go to the Google Scholar. So you go to Google Scholar and type the, the, the correct or the exact phrases enclosed by uh, these symbols, for instance, to show the exact, uh, let's say, search queries. And you can take studies from here. You can just read their abstract to see their overall findings and the extent to which they can be compared with your study. So once we just spot that there are some similarities here, we have teaching grammar, vocabulary and giving instructions. So at the study also showed this finding. You can just cite this study by going to Google Scholar and we go to cite and then choose the style that we want, for instance, and we cite it according to the research question that, uh, that corresponds to it because the discussion chapter is outlined in terms of the research questions, as I said, like this. So find the theme that corresponds to uh, what you want and paste that study and write a summary about it next to the results obtained. So this is how you can go about, uh, in fact, drafting the uh, discussion chapter. So you state the results from here, like most respond uh, respondents reported the use of own language, mostly with beginner to intermediate learners. And next, I find studies that support this uh, finding or don't support this finding, and why, for instance, these studies are different from the current obtained finding. Okay, so this is in brief how you can write the discussion chapter. And if you uh, find it hard to go to the results, you can come up with a table like this that contains the research questions the independent variables, the dependent variables, the test used and the results. And you write a summary of the results here in this table like that corresponds to each research question. And then uh, you can even have this checklist that you should make sure of, like you should summarize your key findings, like the results. You can take just the appendices or the, the visualizations like these ones and see the common trends for each, for example, variable and the extent to which the respondents agree or disagree with it. The second thing we need to do is to give your interpretations. And so what those findings mean to you or to your research questions or objectives. 
and to your case and uh, discuss them in light of uh, the previous studies, like the studies that agreed with your finding or disagreed with your finding. And then we can also include the implications. Sometimes the implications, the limitations and recommendations are kept to the conclusion chapter, but in other times they are within the discussion chap chapter. So it depends on the guidelines that you are following. So it's better that you take other templates or studies and try to model them, so to speak, from your university or from the research journal that you are uh, trying to publish in. So these are uh, in brief how you can just go about this. For the implications like to the extent to which the obtained knowledge that you got from your study can be applied by designing, for example, certain techniques or methods. Uh, don't only suggest that uh, there are many implications and that's it, but you should actually link them to your study. The limitations, there are many limitations, like you can mention the sample size of the study. You can mention, for example, the, the time frame that you got. You can mention many limitations, uh, like the, the scope of the study, etc. So there are many limitations that can be mentioned. Like the if there is uh, some violation of normality, you can cite it as well. And the recommendations don't just recommend that future research should be conducted or teachers or practitioners or stakeholders should do this and that, but try to state why this should be done in relation to your findings and in relation to your research questions and objectives, etc. So this is in brief how you can go about the discussion chapter and if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media and till then see you in another video bye for now